Well, hey guys, happy Sunday. <laughs> oh God, I got so excited I splattered coffee on myself. Story of my life, like all of my clothes have this signature little brown spots. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm gonna share with you guys a vlog, of course, just, you know, hanging out at home, social distancing. But I wanted to share with you guys, first up, how I have been cleansing my skin. So real quick, if you're new here, I double cleanse my face to remove the sunscreen layers that I put on throughout the day and sebum and oil, sebum and oil are the same thing, dirt and my mascara. That's all the makeup that I wear, mascara. I start with an oil-based cleansing product and use that to break everything up and then I step in the shower and I use a gentle, gentle cleanser to remove the oily broken up stuff. I do that on my face. When it comes to cleansing my body, I'm really strategic. I don't use soap much, I know, shocker, because it really dries out the skin barrier and we're a culture of over soaping. So I direct soapy lather to my armpits and inner thigh, inner thigh, inner fry, inner thigh area, groin area. And if I've been outside anywhere that happens to be visibly soiled, like if I pick up dirt on my ankles running outside, then I lather that up and rinse it off. And that's how, how I cleanse. But when it comes, so when it comes to body cleansing, I also sometimes do a double cleanse, particularly when it comes to removing water resistant sunscreen. I get a ton of questions about this from you guys, so I'm gonna address it today. But lately I've been running outdoors a lot more and I've been using the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Body Shield. This is the, this is the like tinted plain regular shade, their original shade. And I've also been using their bronze shade, which I like better than that. But oh my gosh, that is a beast to get off. So I do a double cleanse. I lather up in oiliness before I get into the shower and that helps break that up. And then I use a gentle cleanser to areas of the body that have a sunscreen. So what have I been using? I saw this in Walgreens back when we were allowed to go in stores and you know, it wasn't an issue. And it's the Neutrogena Body Oil Fragrance Free. And most people use this as a body oil for emoliation, moisturization, etc. But it has a polyethylene glycol, PEG40, which will actually help this rinse off. So it's a great body oil cleanser. You can also use it on your face, and I've done that too as an oil cleanser. So you could use this for the first step for your face and your body. I've mostly been using it on my body. Um, so I do that to remove the water resistant sunscreen. I stand outside the shower and I put a little bit, you know, before I get in the shower, I put a little bit in my palms, lather it to dry skin, and then step in the shower. And for the second step, I've been using the Camelli Cream Body Cleanser from Drunk Elephant that I reviewed for you guys. The main reason I've been using the Drunk Elephant one is that I have it from my review of the body care and hair care line. And so I wanna use it up. And as I said in that video, I actually like this. It's a decent, gentle cleanser. It's good if you have any kind of skin. Um, so this is what I'm currently using, mostly for the body, but you can use it on the face. Ordinarily, this wouldn't be something that I would tell you guys to run out and buy, and I'm not telling you to run out and buy it. Well, you can't run out and do anything, but you know, by run out, I mean go online. This isn't something that you like have to have. There are tons of amazing, gentle, sensitive, skin friendly, or in, when I say sensitive skin friendly, that's code for stuff everybody should be using. Sensitive skin products are really your best bet in general, regardless of what kind of skin type you have. Um, yeah, but this one, you know, it's on the pricier side, but I actually like it. I'll list down below some alternatives though that are a lot more affordable that I typically recommend um, that are great, like CeraVe Hydrating Body Wash, por ejemplo. All right, so that's, that's the gist of the body cleansing for removing 
water resistant sunscreen works really well i'm telling you this stuff is tenacious this color science tinted stuff anyways blah 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 so for the face like i said you can use these products for your face you don't need a separate set why do i have a separate set because i review a lot of skincare products and stuff so i have a ton of stuff that i need to make my way through in a timely manner before it expires and you guys know i've been using the inky list oat cleansing balm and i'm almost finished with this i love it it's really it's really been a good one it is free of added fragrance cruelty free it's really good so i've been using that as my first step for my face and then my second step i've reviewed this in the past and i recently repurchased it and i actually you know it's actually pretty good it's a little on the expensive side and again i'll list down below some alternative face cleansers that i recommend but this is a neutrogena hydro boost uh, gentle cleansing lotion for sensitive skin fragrance free so yeah that's what i'm currently using face care and body care but again you don't have to use separate products inky list oat cleansing balm it's back in stock on sephora you guys um i really like it and you know you you want to know how does this compare to x y and z cleansing balm or cleansing oil that i've reviewed they all work the same <laughs> But this one's pretty affordable, which is great. And so I have it, I'm finishing it up and I really like it. So yeah, this is a good one. And if you're in the market for a cleansing balm, try that one out. It doesn't have any added fragrance. It does have colloidal oatmeal in it. And you can kind of smell the oaty smell, which I'm fine with. If you've ever taken a colloidal oatmeal bath, you know what I'm talking about. You know that smell. But last night, you guys, I had the weirdest dream slash nightmare slash I don't know what you would call it backstory in my in my younger days I would experience this thing at night whenever I slept in a new location like in a hotel room over at a friend's house just in a different room or different loca different location where I would wake up in the middle of the night screaming like just a a shrill scream it's like coming out of a dream state and having this sensation your surroundings are foreign would send me into some kind of a sleep mode panic and i would launch into this really shrill shrill screaming and it used to happen a lot when i was a child and would like sleep over at friend's house so embarrassing i mean it's not like yeah i don't know what that means i guess it's just like when places aren't familiar, they seem scary in your dreamlike state. That makes sense, I guess. Hasn't happened to me in a long time, probably because I don't sleep over at people's houses that much, but it happened to me last night in my own bedroom. I woke up shrill screaming and I was having this bizarre dream about, I mean, I don't know what the dream is about because I've forgotten 99.9% .9 of it, as is always the case with the dream. But the one thing that I do remember is that it involved the mascot from the summer olympics was the summer yeah summer olympics when they were in atlanta <coughs> and the mascot was that was just is i remember when they told everybody about this mascot it was like what is it <laughs> so, yeah I don't, I don't know do you guys remember that mascot? Yeah, I had, for some reason, that mascot was like appearing in my dream. I don't know what it was. Maybe I had Brussels sprouts last night. Maybe it was the Brussels sprouts, but I eat those every night. Mm -hmm. Muck up my dreams. Foods that muck up my dreams though, a food, jackfruit. I cannot eat that stuff. Every time I eat jackfruit, I have some freaky dream, like freaky to the point where I need to, as soon as I wake up, I need to write that down while it's still in my memory and then i need to get stephen king on the phone and be like here's your next book yeah jackfruit gives me the weirdest dreams like creepy just like stephen king you know that kind of creepy unsettling feeling <laughs> jackfruit can't do it i've tried cooking it multiple ways preparing it different ways and it doesn't matter what time of the day i eat it if i have had jackfruit in the 24 hours go, prior to going to sleep, I'll have a bizarre dream. And, you know, so unless I stayed awake for two days, I just can't, can't have jackfruit. But sometimes I, I eat it and, and then realize that things are gonna get weird in my sleep. But 
Such is life. Anyways, I'm gonna head into the kitchen and make myself some oatmeal. Go try it now, thank me later. So I just put on this MD Solar Science Mineral Tinted Cream SPF 30. This one is uh, a bit too deep of a tone for me, but it feels amazing going on. It's just like a kiss on the face. These are the uh, Brussels sprouts. I got them at Costco when I went last time. Put them in the old Bella. I swear, this makes the Brussels sprout, like you don't even have to put anything on them. I mean, I guess you could put seasoning, but it makes the Brussels sprouts almost taste like popcorn. It's weird, it's bizarre. I don't know how it happens. I'll do it for like 25 minutes. Anyways, that's that. Yeah, you know, one thing that I'm learning about myself from all of this, I think in the future when life returns to normal, um, I think this uh, going to the grocery store every two weeks thing, I'm gonna try and keep that going um, because it saves on time to just stock up. So yeah. Hello, I just finished a Renzo on the treadmill, but I'm gonna have one of these hydration ups. Yeah, I'm gonna have one of these hydration ups. I shared these, I can't remember, it was like many iHerb hauls ago and I never updated you guys. But you guys, if you like the Ultima Replenisher sticks, these are just as good in my opinion. I love them. It's the California Gold Nutrition brand that you can get on iHerb. The fruit punch is really good, so is the grape, and there's a tropical one that is also bomb diggity. And voila, we have the air fryer Brussels sprouts. They're really good. They're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Yeah, they take on an entirely different taste. I'm telling you, you've gotta try them this way. They're really good. Well, hey guys, what's up? I just got out of the shower and put on some moisturizer, which is about dry. And I also put on the uh, this foot cream from Dermatonics. I love this stuff. It's a urea foot cream. It's really good for keeping your feet looking nice. I wish I were a bigger bottle. 
It has urea in it, which is great for softening dry, crusty stuff. And it has colloidal oatmeal. It's just like really thick and nice. But I like to alternate this with carousel foot ointment. This is so good. This one has urea in it and it also has um, salicylic acid. And it's really an intense. And so if I use it every night, I find that with my running, it gets to be where I kind of rely on a little bit of callus. Otherwise, I get friction blisters. So I only use this a few nights a week. And honestly, sometimes I'm not that great about using it. I forget. But I've been on a roll lately with my foot care. And I've kind of been alternating these. And I've really been enjoying them. that tretinoin smells like glue. I'm glad I use it because I have some sense of how it feels on the skin. At least the generic one. That's what I use. Anyways guys, I'm going to uh, clock out here on the vlogadundo. I uh, have some computer work to do and then I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you all for keeping me company today on this uh, distancing day. Deo distance. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just did a push-up on the wall. Bye.